Hello and welcome back to my video series showing you how to beat New Super Mario Bros. U in as few levels as possible. So for this next episode, we'll be heading over to Soda Jungle, using the pathway we unlocked from Acorn Plains. And here we are. Scroll down, you see the tower there. Good old boom boom on top. And there's the castle. So far we've completed three levels, and lost no lives. That might change as the levels get harder. So our first level in Soda Jungle is Jungle of the Giants. And here we see that the blocks are larger than normal, and so are the enemies. These Goombas, if you jump on them, and they split apart into smaller Goombas. And these larger Koopas. One, attack. You knock them toward these small bricks, or blocks, and if they hit them, then they go right through them. Yep, and you see even the piranha plants are larger than normal. Jump on this shell and kick it. Come up to this red Koopa. If we kick the shell to the right, it goes down, bounces off that section, and clears our way to the star coin. Let's get there. And now we've reached the halfway point. Grab a new fire flower from here. Jump up onto this platform. Then if you take the shell this way, plow, it will plow through all those blocks, enabling you to get at them. But in the middle one is a star, which makes it invincible for a short period of time. Didn't jump high enough for the fourth star coin. I'm sorry, the last star coin. But we've completed the fourth level. So now we have a choice to make. So we go left or right. Let's go to the left or to Mario's right where we find Soda Jungle 2, Bridge Over Poison Waters. Okay, and then remember, uh, my videos, that the, uh, purple water is like lava. If you touch it, then you die. You want to stay out of it. And watch out for those logs, because if you stay on them for too long, it will roll you off. Yeah. Grab it. Here's how you get the next star coin. Use a squirrel suit to get up into that pipe. Press down on the P switch, which turns all the coins to blocks and all the blocks to coins. Put this pow block, throw it at the ground, and let all the coins fall. And grab the star coin. Down here. There's another secret area. Almost made it. There's some sort of block there. Oh, and I died. That's the first death that I've had. Well, not to worry. Let's pick ourselves up and go back in. Have a mushroom there. Keep it to descend. Have another squirrel suit. Down here. We got the first shark one. So then we have to grab 
start the second star quest again. Do the same thing again. We throw the power block down, and all the coins collapse. Whoops! Lost my squirrel suit there. Come down on this set of blocks here. You want to watch out because they ascend and descend. If they jump up here, they reach the halfway point. So now if I die again, then everything up to that point will be saved. And start from that halfway point. Grab the last star point. And then that block leads to the secret exit in this level. But we want the normal exit. So we're going to pass it. Up here. To get to the gold flag. Oh yeah, Mario time. And this leads us to World 5 Tower, which will be our first boss battle. So we're going to climb up this tower, and at the top, we will fight Boom Boom. Well, let's go. Item block we grab an acorn. We emerge onto this snake block set, which will slowly snake, as its name implies, up the tower. So in this tower, it's important to keep moving and to avoid all those spike balls and those amps. Quickly get a star point. Well, grab those red coins. One up. I normally give you a power up, but since I've already got a power up, it gives me a one up instead. Now, unfortunately, I've missed my window to grab the second star coin. And past the halfway point. Now it gets even tougher. The balls and the ants are both bigger. And there's the, uh, Third star coin, so we'll go ahead and get that. And the key here is to wait until the balls begin to swing away from you, and then run underneath them. Now, you have to duck as they go over you. On the boss battle doors. We go through them. Where we find ourselves in the boss battle chamber with Boom Boom. Now, Magic Super is going to cast a spell on him to make it harder for us to beat him. He's big. Now, the key to beating a boss is to jump them on the head three times, while avoiding their attacks. Two hits already. Whoop! And three! That's our first boss battle completed, and another level! Here comes Magic Koopa. Casting some sort of spell on Peach's castle. Uh oh, that's not good. So that was how you complete the first part of Soda Jungle. In the next episode, I'll be showing you how to navigate the haunted section.